I remember me and this girl were doing the Duvel's Tango. And then out of nowhere, she bit my eggplant. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. This story all takes place back in my grade 11 year. And in grade 11, I won't lie to you guys, it was one of the most weirdest years of my life. Because obviously, being in grade 11, you know, you start getting close to graduation and things kind of get, well, more real in a sense. But for me, for some reason, I never understood that. And I don't know, I guess I was still being the same old kid that just wanted to do the devil's tango all the time. But I remember on this one specific day, I ended up going to school. And basically, when I got to school, I went straight to the cafeteria to go hang out with the boys. Me and the boys, we usually sat in the corner of the cafeteria where most people wouldn't be able to hear us nor see us. And I remember when I got there, all the guys were there except one of them. Now, when me and the boys started to realize that one of us was missing, we were confused on why. And I remember one of my homies ended up saying, oh, yo, guys, apparently he's in the hospital. His mom just texted me. At this moment, I didn't know what was weirder. My friend being at the hospital or my friend having his mom's homie's phone number. That sounds so weird to say, but you guys know what I mean. Going on with the story though, I remember all the boys in the cafeteria started spam texting him to see what was going on and why he was at the hospital. And honestly, he wouldn't say anything other than he just had a really bad time with his girlfriend. Now at the time, back when I was in grade 11, my homie had this girlfriend that was, well, she was really attractive, but for some reason, a lot of guys that previously dated this girl did not like her. No one was ever told why or what was the reason for it, but obviously something was off about this girl. But since she was dating my homie, obviously I stayed away and didn't care. No matter how bad I enjoyed doing the Duvel's Tango. But let's just say what happens next honestly really changed that idea. Because I remember later on in the school day when I went to science class, I ended up seeing my homie that was at the hospital. I walked up to him and I said, yo bro, is everything okay? Like you're, you're back from the hospital. What's wrong with you? You seem fine. And then he ended up looking at me, just shaking his head saying, yeah, like I'm good, bro. Like, don't worry about me. Like I'm, I'm okay, man. And then afterwards he ended up walking away from me, but he was kind of waddling. In a weird way, it seemed like he had something up between his... Well, I can't say that, but you guys know what I mean. So at this point, I'm questioning what's going on with him. Like, is everything good? Like, what is wrong with my homie? And so later on after science class, I ended up walking out of the classroom. And as I was walking down the hallway, I ended up seeing my homie's girlfriend, the one that was at the hospital earlier. She was crying and bawling her eyes out, leaning against her locker. Now, I didn't know why she was crying, but obviously I wanted to be a good friend to my homie. And obviously I knew the girl. So I walked up to her and said, hey, like, is everything okay? Like, why are you crying? Oh, nothing. Um, me and, uh, me and your friend just broke up. I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest. You know, it's it's just a lot. Uh, okay, well, why'd you guys break up? Like, you guys were good together, weren't you? I, I kind of did a mistake. I don't know. It, it tends to happen a lot. I don't, I don't really know why. Like, my jaw is just, it's just weird. I don't want to talk about it. Your jaw? Uh, you know what? If you don't want to talk about it, it's cool. I'm just gonna go and, uh, get to my next class. As I started to walk away from her, though, I don't know her. She ends up grabbing my shoulder and says, Baba, are you maybe, like, free after school? Like, I don't know. I just need an opinion. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, I'll see if I'm free. I don't really know. The reason I I said I don't know by the way is because I didn't want to say a definite yes since my homie just broke up with this girl like obviously that's a little against the bro code if you guys don't know what that is then obviously you don't want to break those rules but basically I said I don't know and then right away right after I finished that conversation I went straight to find my homie that broke up with this girl as I was walking through the hallway I saw him hanging out with some of the guys and I ended up walking up to him saying yo dude why didn't you tell anyone that you broke up with your girl at this moment he stands up and he looks at me and says yo Bubba listen bro let's not talk about it right now seriously bro like i'm still in pain i don't want to hear it in pain from what like seriously you look fine other than you walk like a weirdo like just tell me the truth bro and at this point i kind of ended up pressing him on it and then that's when he finally decided to basically waddle with me to another place in the school and he looked at me and said yo bubba listen bro i don't want to be weird i right? but me and my girl or my ex-girl i should say now i'm gonna be for real like me and her we just don't click like that okay and like what she did to me to make me injured was just really just scary all right and i just had to break up with her because i just don't want that happen happening again, bro. You understand what I'm saying? No, I don't understand what you're saying. Wait, repeat that one more time. You broke up with your girl because something that happened that has to do with your injury? Like, what'd she do to you? Dude, you don't want to know, man. It's every man's greatest fear. When he said that, he ended up walking away from me and at that point, I'm not gonna lie to you, I got annoyed. I got really upset because he just wouldn't tell me the truth. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now. The truth matters more to me than anything else in this world. I'd rather be totally honest with someone than to jump around the bush and lie. I remember when after school came around, I got my backpack 
backpack from my locker and I headed straight to my car that I had back when I was in grade 11. And as I was walking up to my car, I remember I ended up seeing my homie's ex-girlfriend leaning on my car. At this moment, I walked up to her and said, yo, like, why are you leaning on my car? Like, what's going on? Oh, sorry, Baba. Listen, I wanted to see if you were still free for after school today. At this moment, when she asked me to hang out again, I didn't really know what to say. And I looked at her and said, I'm gonna be free with you. Like, my homie's not telling me the truth about what happened to you guys and how you caused his injury. And to be honest with you, I don't want to just basically get lied to. So if you're gonna lie to me, then I'd rather not hang out with you. At this moment, she looks at me with her eyes wide open and she said, Baba, I'll literally show you exactly what happened if you let me. And at that moment, I said, sure. As long as I don't get hurt, I don't mind. So at this moment, me and her, we got into my car and we started driving to a viewpoint that was near the area that was a good like 10 minute drive. When we got to the top of the viewpoint, I remember I parked my car facing the view and me and her, we started talking. I started talking to her saying, okay, so like, I want you to be honest. What happened? Okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but like I have this condition where like my jaw likes to lock randomly at random moments. Your jaw likes to lock at random moments is what I repeated back to her because that sounds so unrealistic. But then afterwards, I remember she once again just started like basically telling me about this condition. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was made believe. It didn't sound real to me. Okay, guys, like it really just did. Like how can your jaw just lock at random moments? Like you ain't causing the bite of 87. You ain't Freddy Fazbear. Like what is the deal with your jaw? And then out of nowhere, she ends up looking at me once again with her eyes wide open. She's like, do you really not believe me? No, not really. Like, it doesn't make sense how that works. And then out of nowhere, she's like, okay, well, I'll prove it to you then. And then she ends up basically coming towards me. And me and her, we did kind of like end up doing the duvel's tango, which I did not expect to come out of it. But at the same time, like, I don't really know what to say. It kind of just happened in the moment. Like, these were just uncontrollable moments of my life, I would say. And then out of nowhere, when she was giving me the duvel's head, at this moment, I noticed her jaw literally locked on my eggplant, bro. And at this point, I I won't lie i started screaming i screamed in my car fearlessly and just absolutely terrified of what was going on and this girl she didn't move her head nothing like she was just stuck there as if she was like locked in to my eggplant at this moment i kept yelling at her saying like get off like get off and then afterwards i ended up basically like punching her kind of in the jaw which sounds really bad don't hit anyone by the way this is not smart to do but i ended up kind of hitting her in the jaw and out of nowhere she unlatched like she was like a belt buckle and then yeah like she basically bit my eggplant i remember I looked at her and I'm like, yo, like, what was that? Like, what are you doing? And then she looks towards me and says, see, like, I told you that would happen. What do you mean you told me that would happen? Like, what are you on about? At this point, I didn't know what to do or say. I, I was just so annoyed and pissed off because my eggplant started hurting. And on top of that, she was just standing there all like, oh, like, I proved the point being like a weird champ. And I didn't know what to say. At this moment, I started basically driving her back home. And like, I'm not joking. It was really hard for me to drive because my eggplant started hurting more and more. And finally when i finally dropped her off she looked at me and said oh yeah by the way can we not tell him about this no i am not gonna tell my homie that you bit my eggplant is what i said and instantly when she got in my car i drove home as fast as i could and put ice on it if this has never happened to you then my advice would be fall for embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys